Yeah, yeah. I think that's a pretty good point because I, I think it's a mistake. Playing on the perimeter. Well, that's what I talked about him early, talked to him about earlier. He really does like it. Shaquille O'Neal has been simply tremendous in the first three possessions. But now you see what LMU will do. They'll come and chase you from behind. You see Gathers get an easy hoop from that. Quinn Gathers said he was really angry. This is Bo Kimball, the nation's leading scorer, getting his first basket of the game. One thing about Bo, you don't have to worry about if he's going to score. Kimball. Sims on the rebound. From Jackson. And Shaq comes away with the rebound. So, so far, first few minutes of the game, O'Neal showing good stamina. Well, not only is he showing good stamina, but right here, basket in the And Q, although that's clearly goaltending, I think it sends a nice message, though. Well, it, it lets everybody know what's going to be going on in the game. But Chris sees all the way that Shaq is wide open in the ear. No way that Hank Gathers can do anything to stop O'Neal. But those are the kind of plays that LSU has to make. 17-year-old freshman, Kimball, blocked by O'Neal. <laughs> That's 58. <laughs> Good pass by Williamson to Chris Jackson. Good heads up play by Maurice Williamson. Well, the real advantage is what happened on the other end. You see Chris Jackson finishing off on the layup, and there's no question about the foul. But Shaquille O'Neal is clearly the story. On the other end, he's blocking shots. He now has the inside consideration of all the players from LNU. You see the great score in Chris Jackson, but Shaquille O'Neal is the man. Stanley Roberts comes in replacing O'Neal three minutes into the first half, but Q, this is something we'll see all day long as Dale Brown tries to keep his players fresh. Well, he's, he's got to keep them fresh. Because we didn't have an open at the top, but you would have mentioned that he was the nation's <laughs> leading scorer last year. <laughs> Here's the part that I think is interesting. He shoots a left-handed free throw and has been very confident in his ability. As a matter of fact, the one game I looked at him, he played against Portland. He was 9 from 10 for the left hand. Only a 56% shooter, but he decided I had to do something different. Now, you got to give Paul Westhead credit. He let him fight. Would Coach Knight have let you go left-handed? Yeah, but I've been here. Three more blocks and he ties a school record. Well, that, Dale just brought in Roberts, and I think that's going to cost him. You can't have Roberts and O'Neal in the game at the same time because you lose ball handling ability on the other end. Six points already by Hank Gass, Randy Duvall. Got the start in place of Harold Boudreaux. Chris Jackson, sweet move. And a seven-point LSU lead. This is where they get you, coming back on the other end. They missed the shot, but they really push it up hard, does LMU. And O'Neal has been swallowing up every rebound. Jackson, again because he can really show his individual moves. Well, he's been compared to Isaiah Thomas, and I would suggest to you players like uh, Chris Jackson and Isaiah play well in open court contests. You saw a bit of the ability of, of Chris Jackson. To As he nails his second free throw, the foul was assessed to Terrell Lowry, his second personal foul, 14 foul. And Lowry comes right back, slammed by Bo <laughs> Kimball, the nation's leading scorer, showing his jumping ability. Well, Bo likes playing in there. He played you like to see people get out, but the thing that sets this up is Tony Walker right now has Shaquille O'Neal guessing what's going to happen. Nobody blocks out Bo Kimball, and you see him get up, kind of hold on to the rim a little bit to protect himself. Singleton on the floor. He and Williamson keeps the tempo up defensively. But this is a guy you have to keep your eye on because Bo Kimball has shot a lot of shots during the season, during the summer. He can really score the, with the basketball. Five points and four rebounds on the afternoon for Bo Kimball, Chris Jackson. Full court press by the Lions. Up to, this is Vernell Singleton. Vernell Singleton. Lions right back, Kimball from nine point land <laughs> as he nails that one and cuts the deficit to three. And you can see that he's come here to play this afternoon. Bo Kimball picks up his ninth point. Communications major, as a matter of fact, there's a pregame show for the radio station that carries the Lions games. He wants our job. <laughs> he already's good. He's to the left.
left-handed free throw shooting style. Well, when you talk to him about it, he said he struggled so much shooting it with his right hand and he had more confidence in the left. He's got a better rotation because he can get his left hand into a better rule. Just released the ball before five seconds. Doesn't have to touch anyone. This is Gathers. Tries to jump hook over O'Neal. Not intimidated by him, but O'Neal. Stanley Roberts is a player that's starting to learn this game. He's got to learn at the inside, but he's got to be aggressive as he was that time. Shaquille O'Neal with yet another block and a rebound. Blocked by Bo Kimball. Maurice Williams Dallas took it to the basket. Dallas is aware that there are a number of NBA scouts here today, including Jerry Krause, an executive with the Chicago Bulls. He said one of his principal objectives is to prove that he can play inside against the big guys, which he would have to do, of course, at the next level. Well, he's going to have to use his, his quickness on the next level to play because all of those guys are moving and legitimately take a charge. That time, Singleton didn't have himself square nor position properly before Gavin took off. Loyola Marymount, 11 of 13 from the... Stanley Roberts hadn't been aggressive. One of the things Dale uh, Brown decided to take him out of the lineup for. Chris Jackson double clutches and finds the range. Nine first half points for Jackson. I'll tell you what, he makes tough shots look easy. That was a tough shot. Steamer, nice pass to Gathers. Hank Gathers with his 12th point. And it's a one point LSU lead. This is Maurice Williamson. Decides to take it to the hoop. And Maurice Williamson with his fourth. The long trip they took from Los Angeles, having played a game two nights ago, has taken a bit of a toll because I see more LMU players than Louisiana State players appearing to be tired. And the real test of that is do you get back defensively? And I don't think that LMU Loyola has been doing a good job of that. Look, LMU, LSU, James, this is pretty easy to confuse that. Loyola Marymount's really been active. They've been taking the ball to the basket. They've gotten those fouls uh, called on Stanley Roberts, exemplifying that. This is Steamer. Roberts with the rebound. Jackson to Sims. Oh, and you got a player like Chris Jackson. Ten turnovers, but expected in a high-paced contest like this. Well, LMU, as a matter of fact, causes about 25 turnovers a game, so I'm sure they like that. LSU with its biggest lead of the game, a 12-point lead over the Lions. Gathers goes up strong to cut it back to 10. It's a 50-42 LSU lead with 5.46 remaining. Jackson kisses it off the glass. You know, he got that move. And a 14-point lead. That's a, that's a side of tired legs right there. Stand because he's subject to get his fourth foul. Right now, he gets yet another rebound and an outlet pass to Chris Jackson. And that Touchdown. was a great outlet pass. I mean, he threw it over everybody right to Chris. Randy Duvall. You want to teach a big man to get the ball and look down court right away. You see well time over the defense's head. Great outlet pass by the young player Shaquille O'Neal. He's got great skills, got some things to learn, but he's going to be a player to be dealt with in the future, unquestionably. Wes Unsell gave him A on that outlet pass. Wes Unsell appears one of the masters at that outlet pass in the NBA for years. Well, the thing about Shaquille, it's a drooling already. Hank Gavis hoping to have them drooling as he knocks in the second free throw. He's got 19 as anybody else. Shaquille O'Neal, dish pass to Jackson, and Jackson with the baseline jumper for his knee back from offense to defense. But you see a bit of the skills right here of the young player Shaquille O'Neal getting the ball to Jackson, but I just think that all of a sudden LMU has gotten a little bit out of sync. The ball had the ball stolen from behind, gathers with the slam. And that's how quick they can get back in the sink. 20 the game. Make that the first half. That it seems like a game as much as it's gone <laughs> fast. And Chris Jackson drops in his 21st 10 points in the first half, averaging 35, the nation's leading score. He's got a little bit to make up. But again, with the style, that we'll find out if that materializes. Bo Kimball starts off with a three-point shot, so he's got 13. 
LSU, Wayne Sims, Chris Jackson, Shaquille O'Neal, Maurice Williamson, and Randy Duvall. This is Jackson. That's when he's at his best, James. When he's coming right at you, he puts you on your heel, and it's hard for you to do anything defensively against him. And look at LSU getting back on defense to change Fryer's mind. Coaches around the conference and the country say Chris Jackson's one of the best at shooting off the dribble as Hank Gathers drops in point number 23 for him. Jeff Fryer, and he's starting to heat up. He's got 14 points. Back to LMU. This is Kimball. Rebounded by Gathers. That's where Hank gets you. But I told you at halftime, we start talking about the final score, 74-67, and the score here at halftime was 72-58. Frame of reference. <laughs> Gathers off the glass. But you see Hank still taking the ball to the basket. Got to get Shaquille O'Neal and Stanley Robertson fouled for him. Hank Gathers has his average with 20. Rebounded by Kimball. This is Lowry. To Gathers. Great penetration to draw the defense there by Tony. By Terry Lowry. That O'Neal off his feet. Chris Jackson, smooth as silk with the behind the back dribble. Off the mark on the jump shot, but guess who's there? Shaquille O'Neal with the <laughs> double jump. Oh, yes! Nothing but raw power. Chris Jackson takes a shot. Paris Steamer does everything he can to keep O'Neal from the basket, but the young fella still gets it up in it, and he's excited about it. Chris struggling a little bit from outside here late, but O'Neal just takes it in there. I mean, he gets fouled. There's a choice for who you want to call for the foul, but O'Neal shovels it in the basket, having a great game. I love the story Dale Brown tells about how he made Speaking at an Army base in West Germany, Kid comes over and says, how can I his hands on the ball while it's on the rim? But that's a shooter's touch where the ball just hangs on the rim like that. Blocked by Shaquille O'Neal, who now has just set a single-season shot-blocking record with 62 block shots by O'Neal. Stolen and slammed by Hank Gathers. So O'Neal picks up his eighth block of the game, his highest for the season, 10 in a single game. With a three. Kimball scores and is fouled by Randy Duvall. So Duvall plays, and that was Xavier, a team they lost to. Thus far, the Tigers doing an excellent job of that as Bo Kimball drops in his 83% free throw shoot and misses the first. for Bo Kimball, and it's a five-point Tigers lead. Gathers operating on Stanley Roberts. And Hank Gathers not afraid to take the seven-foot-one Roberts down low and operate big guys of LSU. <laughs> the Ooh. same one I implore all the time. He and we said, said, well, what about checking Chris Jackson? He said, I'm not changing. I'm running the same thing I run all the time. I've been running. I'm going to run. I don't care who we play against. <laughs> Chris Jackson, 25.6 assists. Here comes Fryer trying to cut it to two. Rebounded by O'Neal. Pop. Jackson. Pop. That's a little pop shot right there. Stop right inside the paint. Pop it up. You know, we may look like a helter-skelter offensive set for Loyola Marymount is really under control as Paul Westhead has his players running to certain spots. I was going to say exactly that. It's controlled chaos, if you will. Understanding the players really want to run, what Paul West has decided to do is give everybody a spot to run to. Fryer on the right side, Bo Kimmel on the left side at the three-pointer. Duvall with a three-pointer. Making Dale Brown look like a genius is Randy. Check it. That was a two-point shot by Randy Duvall. Gathers. <laughs> Using the basket. <laughs> On size 22. A lot of room to swim. Blocked. 
by O'Neal. Eighth block. Shakes up both of the LMU players and then they push it back down on the other end defensively. The game. Jackson alert, protecting the ball. Three point shot. Blocked by Vernell Singleton. Vernell Singleton really has turned up his game defensively. by Jackson. <laughs> I think he's loving this pace. Oh, he's having a ball out here. Well, you see, right, a great pass by Chris Jackson. But Vernell Singleton is feeling good. That's taking him to the authority. Would you Make like to take one. that one back? Strike that one from the record. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> 33 points and eight assists worth of proving the answer to that question. The, the thing that's not measurable by statistics, though, is how many times he's handled the ball in the press by himself. And that is a four thirty-one remaining in the contest. Shaquille O'Neal has been the story. He's been blocking shots, rebounding, done everything. Got a triple double. 16.8. To Singleton. Needed Sherman Douglas for that pass. Bo Kimball. Got time to get his feet under him, JB. Was able to get that one in. Gathers continuing to challenge the big men as he scores the hoop and has fouled 39 points scored so far by Hank Gathers. The strength of, of Hank Gathers is to get the ball on the move. You got O'Neal waiting for him to come in. You see, coming from the left of your screen, there's a foul by Randy Duvall. But there have been some good things happen for Hank Gathers. He struggled a little bit because he, at one point he passed out on the foul line. He, he went to the doctor. They ran tests. He seems to be all right. He's been on some medication. He scored 44 points in that game. They, the other night where he got 154 team, they had backed off some of the medication. This is not a fluke that he's starting to score so well. That medication obviously was slowing him down. You see now he's got 40 points in this game. Vernell Singleton, 14 points over his average of six as Gathers continues to rack it up with his 42nd point. Don't forget golf coming up next at the conclusion of this track meet here between LSU and LMU. Gathers. Kisses it off the glass. He's on fire. He's back. And again, we talked about how he wanted to. And Loyola Marymount can cut into the deficit or tie it with a three-point shot. Kimball. Blow it up. Blow it up. And a bad scores and is fouled. An opportunity to tie the ball game. Well, you go to your money anytime you're in trouble. Kimball has been scoring. You see right away, he gets Ronell Singleton off his feet. A cardinal sin for a defensive player. And the scorer still gets the ball in the basket once he got Singleton off his feet. Bo Kimball had a poor first half, dropping in only 10 points. He scored 18 in the second half. 28 points to go along with 11 rebounds as Jeff Fryer takes a seat. Tom Peabody replaces him. You get a little tempo upbeat here with Fryer going out of the game. The Peabody, somebody coming in, trying to poke the ball loose, with the press coming in after the, after the made free throw, and one Peabody to try to get the ball for him. And Kimball ties the ball game at one. Lowry. It's a Hank Gathers, who's got 44 points. And Gathers scores the first basket in overtime, the first overtime that Loyola five for Loyola Marymount with 3.33 remaining. And overtime, you got to wonder how much quickness to the ball has to do with just fatigue in the legs of Shaquille O'Neal. Gathers left-handed shot. So the first two baskets scored in overtime, both. Not 
just your leading scorer, but your ball handler. Kimball. Blocked by O'Neal, number 12. And Williamson is fouled. Terrell Lowry. Protecting the middle all afternoon has been Shaquille O'Neal. This is nothing new if you've been watching this game. Protecting it again. He's been blocking shots. That was a raindrop. <laughs> well, they say that's how he got his nickname, the Rainbow Jump Shot. 